Okay, Fooge, you can get up now, boy. Pretty crazy acting job, eh, Firas? Yeah, great. With a little practice, you can be another Rin Tin Tin. Arigato, guru -san. You want to be my agent? Ah, go on. Hey, get out of them duds and slip into your PW suit before some trigger-happy Marine shoots your pants off. Okay. <laughs> with that. They'll probably want to show it at Lois Pitkin. Boy, wait till Mrs. Gransky gets a load of these authentic war films. Who's Mrs. Gransky? Oh, lives next door to my mother. Her doll boy's over in North Africa. Got himself some kind of a cockamamie medal. What did he do? Yeah, if I know Betty Gransky probably stole it. <laughs> Mrs. Gransky's been bugging my mother no end. She says, while her Benny's over there making the world safe for Bensonhurst, I'm lying around some tropical island with a bunch of dames eating grapes and fortune cookies. We ain't got no fortune cookies. Darn right we ain't. Boy, wait till I get a load of this. Hey, movie star! Get the gig ready. We shove off from each side in ten minutes. Okay, Skipper. Charlie? Hey, Charlie. You got that list of stuff you want me to pick up at supply? Oh, yes, Skip. Here are the requisition slips. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful. Look at that. No racing on that. Just beautiful, Charlie. <laughs> oh, one problem, Skip. I'm out of requisition slips for soap and cigarettes. Well, just scratch it out in the old hunk of paper. Oh, Go ahead. Skip, regulations frown on Oh, look, I don't care if they cry. Look, a, a Liberty ship comes in here for the first time in four months and you're worried about regulations while everybody's uh, eating up the cargo at mainside. Wait a minute, Skip. It's a simple matter. I'll just get some more requisition slips. Come on, come on. Oh, no. I'm out of requisition slips for requisition slips. Well, never mind, Charlie. Never mind. I'll manage, believe me. Oh, by the way, Skip, listen. Uh, well, there's a battle drill shakedown in 1,300 hours. Uh, Orders, you know. Oh, I know. I read them. Yeah, but it's uh, 1,200 now, and, uh, well, I'm just wondering if... Uh, well, stop wondering. If I'm not back, just uh, the boat's all yours. Live it up, boy. Live it up. <laughs> so long. Make ready, all tubes. Steady she goes, steady she goes. <clears throat> Keep it crisp. Keep it crisp. <laughs> Please not to forget, Guru Basan. We got plenty starch, plenty bridge, but almost no more soap. Gonna pick up some today. Hey, you finish everything? Hi. <laughs> Here are Captain Binghamton. Plenty starch, four dollar. And Commander Wilson, no starch, three dollar fifty. Ah, great, great, Fooj. You're sure a whiz with an iron. Uh-oh. Here comes the skipper. Better stash this stuff away. The less questions he asks, the better. All right, Grove, let's shove off. Aye, aye, sir. Nice print and print. Yeah, sayonara, sayonara. This morning's recon photographs don't show a thing, sir. I know. And as much as it pains me, I've sent for McHale. If we don't find that submarine before it finds us, things are liable to be sticky wicked around here. Come in. Here you are, sir. Gruber's home delivery. Starched and pressed just the way you like them. Uh, how much do I owe you? It'll be four dollars, sir. Four dollars? How come the price keeps going up every week? Oh, everything's going up. Must be the war, sir. Never mind the war and don't lean on my desk. <laughs> Gruber, you and your outfit are going to be up on charges if I find out that McHale's been stealing government property somewhere, like a washing machine, huh? Oh, the skipper wouldn't do nothing like that, sir. 
<laughs> Speak up, man. I can't hear what you're saying. Speak up. How do you get these dirty collars, these grimy, rotten collars so clean? How do you get these skivvies so white and fluffy? Huh? The captain wouldn't force me to give away trade secrets, would he? It's not democratic. Oh, We're shut all... up. <laughs> Grover, this is my dress white uniform. It's made of this finest tropical worsted. It's specially hand-tailored for me. And I need it for the Admiral's visit the day after tomorrow. Can I trust you with it? Oh, yes, sir. I'll give it my personal attention, sir. Yeah. Of course, there'll be a slight extra charge. Extra charge? Yes, sir. After all, it is a rush job, sir. And speaking of rush, I better. I just may have a talk with the Bureau of Internal Revenue about you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay, Skipper, he's all yours. In his BVDs? Oh, don't worry, he's presentable. He's taking a bar to gig, Skip. I gotta get back to the base, have a rush job. Oh, I better send it back. Thank you. You know something, Gruber? If this war lasts long enough, you'll own it. <laughs> working on it, Skip, working on it. Really? <laughs> ah, Lieutenant Commander McHale reporting, Captain. Hiya, copy. How are you, buddy? Long time no see. All right, McHale, this isn't a social club. Sit down. Oh. <laughs> Well, Mikhail, I put up with a lot of nonsense from you, and it's time that you earned your keep. Yes, I just received a signal from Comfleet. Oh? An enemy submarine has established a base in our area. It's somewhere in there. That would be Magnolia 7. Uh -huh. That's your job. You go out and get it. Uh -huh. And get off of my skivvies. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I'll check with reconnaissance and, uh, and uh, draw my supplies. Be on my way, sir. Anything else, sir? That is all. <laughs> Mikhail, where did you get a washing machine? <laughs> what, sir? Never mind. I should have known that you were too sneaky to be taken in by psychology. Dismissed. <laughs> Cracking up? I can't figure it out. How do they get them so fluffy? <laughs> hey, how we doing, Groove? Business is picking up. Got a rush job on Bingleton's dress uniform. Feel that material. Hey, don't bend the worsted. We gotta handle this dial very carefully. Now look, the skipper don't make it back. We worked a laundry detail today. 1300! Battle drill aboard the boat! Every eye on board! Keep it crisp, keep it crisp. Battle drill, not this boy. I got a date. <laughs> All right, then, now we're going out. Let's go. Come on, you two snap two. We're going out. <laughs> Make ready all tubes. All tubes ready, sir. <laughs> all right. We're going to get this, baby. Fire one! Torpedo one fired, sir. Hard left rudder. Hard left rudder, sir. Torpedo two fired, sir. <laughs> she goes and powie, powie, sir. <laughs> we got her, midship. Well, secure general quarters and uh, give the men a well done. Aye, aye, skipper. <laughs> Laundry detail. Gotcha. Careful with the captain's uniform. Dirty load.
Hey, look out there. Hey, it's a torpedo. It ain't no herring. Torpedo, torpedo on the port side. Oh, be darn. Let's go awful fast, Mr. Parker. Yeah, help. I mean, let's get out of here. Step on the gas. You were a left runner. You were a lot of left runners. I give her a lot of left runners, sir. Miss us. It's gonna miss. Oh, I was sure we're. Oh, the laundry. <laughs> oh, play. What happened? Binghamton's uniform. Hey, you think you blew up my business? <laughs> I'm wounded. Well, the engines have stopped, sir. They must have hit us in the fantail. I'll check. Stand by, Christy. As acting commander of this boat, I'll check the damage. <laughs> Are you hurt, Groob? You bet your life I am. You're a witness. I'm wounded. You're bleeding. Mm. Ain't it beautiful? A purple heart. <laughs> Mrs. Bronski's gonna have a fit. Come on, give me a hand. That laundry rope fouled up the propeller. Right. Hey, Gruber, Haynes. Oh, thank heavens you guys are all right. Who said we're all right? I'm wounded. <laughs> I'd hang every one of you from the mast if I had a mast. Where's your pride? Where's your dignity? Scuttling your own ship with a bag full of skivvy drawers. <laughs> Disgusting. Plain disgusting. Mr. Parker, I'll talk to you inside. Aye, aye, sir. And the rest of you stand by. We're going to be taken off after that sub. And from now on, you guys are out of the laundry business. You guys read me? Aye, sir. Yeah. Parker! <laughs> Now, what do you got to say for yourself? Uh, well, sir, the drill went very well. Oh, come on, Chuck. How could you let the guys put one over on you like that? You know that Binghamton is just waiting to hang something like this on us. <laughs> what do you want, Gruber? Busy, sir. Man, sir. Come on, quit tenderizing me. What's on your mind? Well, I just wanted to thank you, sir, for... For what? For the citation you'll be putting in for me, sir. Citation? What citation? For my purple heart, sir. <laughs> purple heart? I was wounded when the torpedo hit the laundry barrel, sir. Got it in the finger. And you figured I'd write up a citation for a Purple Heart for you? I already wrote a letter to my mother and told her I was wounded. I figured better hear it from me than the water partner, sir. Come on, Gruber. Well, you, you, you're, you're balmy. You expect me to, to send in a report of this action to Binghamton? You want me to tell the Bureau of Naval Personnel what happened this afternoon? For all you know, you might have been hit with a zipper. I never seen no zipper on anything issue, sir. Stop! <laughs> Get out of here. Don't you ever mention this operation again. And as far as your mother's concerned, you cut your finger on a, on a can of anchovies. You read me, boy. I can tell my mother anything, but the Brooklyn Eagle... Brooklyn Eagle? The newspaper? <laughs> Son of my picture, too. Get out of here, Gruber. You better start that shifty brain of yours to figure what you're going to tell Binghamton about his precious ex uniform. Now, get out of here! Yes, sir. You know that guy's got enough connivance in him to wind up chief of staff? You know, sir, I hate to be the one to point this out, but actually, Gruber is entitled to a Purple Heart. He was wounded in enemy action. Okay, okay, so he's entitled. But can you picture how the citation will have to read? While dragging your bundle of laundry on the afternoon of... Well, now, sir, I didn't mention anything about the laundry. <laughs> you didn't mention the laundry? No, sir. When didn't you mention the laundry? Well, sir, as acting commander of the boat, I felt it was my duty to make out the citation and, and submit it to, uh, to... To, 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 Binghamton. To Binghamton. For <laughs> approval? For approval. Uh, sir, you're upset. Upset! 
Cooper, we just received a signal from the main base. Captain Binghamton wants to see you and Mr. Parker. Tell her we're heading out. Uh, he said on the double, sir. Well, that does it. I hope you got a regulation that'll pull us out of this one, boy. Well, uh, <clears throat> gee, now, I don't think there's anything to Skipper about worry. <laughs> uh, worry about Skipper. Uh, well, maybe there is. <laughs> Uh, well, sir, um, <clears throat> uh, w what I mean is that we, uh... Cut it out, Parker, and start talking. Yes, sir. Now, this citation reads, and I quote, an action against an enemy submarine. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Don't wait there, Mikhail. No, sir. Speak up, Parker. Well, well sir, uh... <clears throat> there we were. That is what I want to know. Where were you? <clears throat> well... We were at sea? We were at sea. What was your position? Well, uh, uh... Something like this, sir. Big hell. Why wasn't this action reported to intelligence immediately? Uh, well, well, uh, Captain... Don't uh, well, Captain me! Letting that submarine get away can mean a court-martial for the whole lot of you. What's the matter, Parker? Didn't you have stomach enough for a little have at em, boys, huh? You big sissy. Oh, well, now, now, look, Captain. Don't interfere, Mikhail. Excuse me, sir. Urgent from the admiral. This is the most snafu'd mission that I've ever seen in all my years, and that... It... By the great horn spoon. Who, sir? Horn spoon. Congratulations from the admiral. Air reconnaissance reports seeing an action between a PT boat and a submarine. They confirm the sinking. Bits of clothing strewn all over the ocean. <laughs> oh, why in blazes didn't you just come right out and tell me that you had sunk the sub? Oh, uh, well, uh, uh well, 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 sir, uh, well, well, Is that all you took and say as well, uh, well, uh, well, uh, well, uh? No, uh... <laughs> well, congratulations, Parker. Even a blind pig finds an acorn sometime. And may I say it's a good thing for you, you sunk that sub. Or else it would have been your neck for not reporting it. Well, sir, I... I... Ah, well, well, let's go back and tell the crew how thrilled the captain is, sir. <laughs> yes, sir, you can depend on us on any time, sir. You betcha. I think there's... Bye-bye! Uh, Bye-bye! <laughs> Bye. Now, there's only two islands you could be using for a base. This one is just a little atoll. But this one, Borgabunda, has a nice wide lagoon and plenty of cover. Gentlemen, that's where we're going to be heading. Yeah, but isn't that taking a heck of a long shot? Yeah, but we have to take it. All on account of you wet washed commandos. <laughs> Look, the Navy thinks we sank that sub, so nobody's out looking for him. We got to find his base before he finds ours, or he's going to come around and blow up our laundry again. Only this time, we'll be in it. <laughs> so let's hit it, you swab heads. This ought to be a good spot if he comes out to make a run on Terra Tupa. But I figure he's smart. He ain't gonna waste no time or ammunition or anything unless he's sure it's a duck soup kill. Gee, I love that kind of talk. <laughs> Slow us down to a third, will ya? With all this moonlight, he can't miss seeing us. Now, we gotta make him think we're dead in the water with all kinds of engine trouble. So you guys go ahead and use all the tools you want. Go on, make as much noise as you can. And Willie, keep your ears open, will you? It's a pound, run away. What does Skipper say about your Purple Heart, big shot? You're not getting one, are you? You're kidding. Of course I am. I shed my blood for my country tonight. That puts my name on the list. Lester Kruger. Right between Ulysses S. Grant, John Paul Jones. And don't forget Benny Gronsky. Hey, Skipper, I'm picking up something. Propeller noise, I think. Well, this is it, man. This must be him. Keep up your hammer. Come on, come on. How far? Maybe 1,500 yards. Where are we? Periscope on the port beam. 
Uh, this is it, boys. <laughs> Let's just keep your fingers crossed that he decides not to waste the torpedo. You know any prayers, Charlie? Just one, sir. Let's have it, boy. Now I lay me down to sleep. <laughs> Endless mommy. <laughs> Phil. Torpedo coming fast! He didn't fall for it. Let's get out of here. What, the... what is it, sir? It won't turn over. Take care! Now I really lay me down to sleep. <laughs> She won't turn over. Grab those oars back here. <laughs> the fellow knows about 200 yards. Stroke. Stroke, come on, put your backs into it. No wonder that movie has never had a chance. Shut up and paddle. 50 yards. There it is. And bless Helen. <laughs> Story awesome. Let's go down. snips back. Somebody else is going to have to pick him up. And what's more, we can't ever tell a living soul about this. Why not, Skip? Oh, Why not? Are you guys forgetting? We sunk this sub yesterday. <laughs> as far as anybody's concerned, we are out fishing tonight. You mean to say the crew was the only one that's going to get a medal out of this? That's exactly what I mean, sonny boy. Now get the lid out. We're all going home. Hey, fellas, don't take it so hard. When a story comes out in the Brooklyn Eagle, I'll put a kind word in for all of you. <laughs> no sense of humor, huh? <laughs> well, Mikhail, I want you to know for the first time I really believe your story. Oh? One of our destroyers picked up the Nip crew. I'm glad, sir. If it eases your fear, sir. <laughs> oh. I also wanted you to know I have approved Gruber's citation for Purple Heart. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, he asked me to deliver the laundry, sir, uh, with his apologies. Apologies? What for? Well, it seems that he borrowed your uh, uniform jacket, sir. Hey, what? Well, uh, he was wearing it when he got hit, sir. <laughs> I see. Uh, them too, sir. <laughs> well, okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll say to it that his family gets his citation. Oh, he'll be glad to hear that, sir. <laughs> he, you mean he's still alive? Oh, yes, sir. He's back on duty already. Oh, that's incredible. I'll extend all my official congratulations and my best wishes. Official. Yes, sir, I certainly will, sir. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Sure got a lot of spunk, ain't you, sir? <laughs> 